In today's video, we're going to be painting up Umber Berserkers from the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game. Okay, so to start off with our Umber Berserker here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting off by painting our front piece of our Umber Berserker, and we're going to be doing that with our Dragon Red. So, by the front bit, I mean we're talking about the, the top of the, um, the top and uh, just a little bit in front here that he has on him as well so we want to give this a nice coating with that dragon red really if you have to uh, place some on let it dry completely then come back over with a second coat and we're just trying to get it as neat as we can uh, especially when we come down to this part here on the front um, because it actually is a a bit of cloth over top of another bit of cloth so I'm just wanting to paint that top bit. So once we have all our red completed what we're going to do now is we're going to move on with some desert yellow and we're just going to be using this desert yellow in a very small piece of our uh, umber berserkers which is just going to be up in the sleeve bit here so just in this bit here is what we're going to be doing our desert yellow in. Just the transition between uh, the leather glove he has on and then the the red uh, over shirt he has on there as well so just being uh, if you need to get a smaller brush to come in here and get that um, and just be as precise as you can making sure you get both sides around there and just doing your best to try and keep the edges as nice and neat as you can because if we don't have to go over too much it's going to make it a lot easier uh, in the long run when it comes to painting up the other steps then once we have that completed, what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with fur brown and we're going to use the fur brown to paint the bottom part of our Umber Berserker, uh, the, the skirt bit I guess you'd call it. And we want to come in here nice nice and easy with our fur brown, trying not to paint over the areas that we've done in our Dragon Red. And we want to, we want to get the whole bottom of this, um, as well as just a little bit of the underside here just underneath the miniature, just as much as you can. I know it's a little bit difficult. Uh, especially with the, the pose it's in and stuff. You may, you may not want to worry about it or um, paint it in a black, I guess, but I'm just trying to get get in there while I can, get as much as I can, because after all, you're not going to see too much of it anyway, but especially just getting around those uh, little lips in there. Um, so you won't notice this as much on the table. And being, being as careful as I can as well, too, to try and avoid um, getting it on other parts or paint in other colours so I don't have to worry too much about touch-ups as well. And then once we've completed our fur brown, I'm going to move on with leather brown here. I'm going to use the leather brown to be painting up the boots, the little bit of the pant leg you can see here. We're going to be doing that in the leather brown as well. And the gloves on our Umber Berserker. So just getting in here really um, as, as neat as I can while I am trying to do this reasonably quickly as well because we want to get it on the table sort of as quick as we can but just try, also trying to get it as neat as we can so it's a good technique to just try um, going fast short brush strokes while trying to keep it the brush sort of as neat as you can I guess it's, it's just more I'm practicing a lot of my sort of fast paint strokes with trying to keep everything sort of precise but we want to do the boots and the pants like I said before and we also want to do the gloves on our Umber Berserker as well. We're going to be doing those in the same leather brown uh, to keep it as reasonably uniform and make it look like they sort of come from the same uh, leather or animal that the uh, Umber Berserker may have hunted. Something like that to make them stand out. And then with those parts completed we're going to move on now with dirt spatter and we're going to be using dirt spatter to be painting up our uh, Umber Berserker's uh, belt. So uh, just about around here, we're also just gonna be doing the pouches as well, the same uh, color. So being as precise as we can now, if you have to switch to a smaller brush, I'll just make sure I've gotten a nice uh, fine tip on my brush so I can really get as close as I can to those edges without going too much on the the other bits we've already painted and we also want to make sure that we use a dirt spatter we have as well on the handles of our umber berserkers axes as well so don't forget to do that when you're doing the belts 
And now we're going to be moving on to our Umber Berserkers flesh here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to use Barbarian flesh to uh, paint this up. Now, there's actually not that much um, flesh color we're going to need for our Umber Berserkers. It's just the face and uh, just a little bits in the side of the neck as well. So just getting a, a smallest brush, really making sure we get that on there. Now, I, I thin mine, I always uh, thin a little bit. Just put a couple of drops of water in with my paint but i think i thinned it down just a little bit too much but that's okay all i'll do is just wait for it to dry and then go over it with the second layer and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to move on to our uh, hair on our miniature so so you see there i use skeleton bone on this uh, umber berserker and we're going to be going over this i like uh, skeleton bone uh, as a nice sort of uh, blonde here it, it seems to come out really well in a uh, blonde hair color style. So just being reasonably careful around the facial hair as well on the face because there's just small little areas that we've got to be painting on here. So you can see I'm just, just really using just the very tip of my brush and just dragging it slightly across to get in the mustache and stuff in there. Now what I'm also going to be doing is using other colors. So I'm just showing you some other colors here that I'll be using on the rest of our uh, army here of our Umbra Berserker. So just going through here and take a look at all the different colors that I'm going to be using to be painting them all, all slightly different just to give a, a more random look to our army. And then once we've painted all our hair on our miniatures, we're going to be coming in with an oak brown now. And we're going to be using the oak brown to paint up the fur cloak that our umber berserkers have on them because I feel like uh, cause since the umbers are the really big and rough sort of house like, I want them to have this nice uh, hefty sort of fur and going with a really dark color in there is really going to help it pop up against all the colors that we've already got on our miniature that are quite light colors so far so adding in here with the oak brown is really going to make that fur cloak just pop up just that little bit more Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to come in now with an ash grey and I'm going to use this to paint up the uh, cloak that the Umbra Berserkers have on them. As you can see here, um, it looks like there's two separate pieces or at least I'm going to be painting them as two separate pieces. Uh, you may just want to paint the whole thing, either the dark uh, oak brown that we just did before or you may want to paint the whole thing up grey. It's all up to you, but I'm, it looks like there's just a slight separation in the miniature so i've made it that that has a gray cloak on him and then on top of that is going to be our dark fur on there just and it's also going to be adding in just a lot more uh, detail in here as well and make those pieces uh, pop out a little bit more on the miniature once it's on the table so now what i'm doing is actually painting the leader of the umber berserkers that we have here which is also has a cloak on it as well so everything has been the same in color up to this point um, this one here just seems to have a much more pronounced uh, cloak on him so just making sure that we're getting that with the same ash gray as well on there but up until this every step that we've used on our other umber berserker has been applied to the uh, umber berserker captain as well and once we've done that, what we're going to do now is we're going to move on with gun metal and we're going to be painting all the metal parts on our Umbra Berserker. Now, for this, it's just basically going to be on this uh, or sort of ordinary Umbra Berserker. It's just going to be the axe head here and as well, just a little bit on the belt. You can see his uh, belt buckle as well. So you want to get in there and just go in with the tip of your brush to just catch that uh, belt buckle he has on him. As well and also don't forget to do the other side of the axe um, while you're painting and then on the uh, Umber Berserker captain here you can see he actually has like a, a full metal piece on him as well as some slight chainmail bits so you want to make sure that you get those all with the same gun metal and don't forget when you're also doing his axes that he also has a little belt buckle on him too so just making sure you get in all those details and be being as neat as you can. If you have to, uh, go over with a second layer. As you see here, my uh, metal uh, paint color is 
sort of streaking a little bit so what I'm going to do is paint that over wait for it to dry and then come back over it with a second layer to really give it that nice uh, metallic shine without those streaks in it and then I decided here that these little leather braces he has on him I'm going to be switching them to metal as well just to add in just a little bit more and he, he's going to stand out a lot more against the uh, ordinary umber berserkers that we have on us so once we've done that, we're going to come in now with a matte black and we're just going to be painting up the base of all our miniatures. So now I am actually painting up all the whole unit of the uh, Umber Berserkers at the same time, which is why I've shown you that I've used different colours for some of the hair and our Guard Captain as well. It just works a lot uh, quicker and easier if, you, if we're painting the whole lot at once rather than one individual miniature at a time. So I'm painting the each part red, each part, all in the colours that we've been doing, just to make it a lot quicker. So now with our bases complete, what we're going to be doing is we're going to come in with a monster brown now, which is a reasonably light brown, and we're going to be using that to dry brush over our uh, Umbra Berserker's uh, fur cloak that he has on him. So remember with our dry brushing, it's just filling up your brush with a bunch of paint and then placing it on a paper towel or a bit of cardboard or anything and getting as much of that paint off as you sort of can and then you're just dragging it across the tops, really trying to pick out the tops of the raised edges of a miniature. And then of course we're going to do the same thing to our Umber Berserker Captain here. Uh, he has a little bit more on him, so uh, I'm just also being really careful around these uh, bear claw bits in here as well. So just, just taking your time, really getting in there as much as you can. And try not to get it over anything else but if you do it's, it's fine at this step because we can just come back in and just touch up those little pieces with mist or over painted okay now we're going to be moving on to the step that's going to tie all this paint job together and we're going to start off with a serif from sepia wash and we're going to be using this to paint up our umber berserkers hair we're just going to be placing this all over the hair of our umber berserkers now i'm going to be doing this across all um, the Umber Berserkers, regardless of what hair colour we use, whether it be the browns or the red or the white hair colour, I'm going to be using Serif from Sepia over the whole lot. As it gives sort of a nice slight flesh tone, but it's also not quite, no, not too dark and not too light. It gives off a really, once it's placed on a lot of these colours, gives off a real sort of good natural hair colour appearance. Then once that's all dry, what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with Flesh Wash, and we're just going to be using this to paint it over, well I should wash over I guess more than paint over uh, our flesh areas which is just the uh, Umber Berserker's face in here so I've just come in with a slightly smaller brush and I'm just dabbing it on the face there so it'll really bring out all the detail on the face and get into all those crevices and stuff so it's just a nice quick step to do here and then once our flesh wash is dried what we're going to do is we're going to come in now with strong tone and we're going to be using the strong tone to wash over the entirety of the rest of the miniature except for the axe heads or any place that we've done in metal so that uh, with our umber berserker captain we want to make sure that we uh, leave all that extra bit of armor he has on him as well so we're just going over here over all the different colors and what it's going to do is this uh, army painter strong tone is going to tie all of this together because the strong tone has like a sort of a good neutral brown tint in it and it's going to really sort of like uh, muddy up these umber berserkers and make them look like they're really down there in the battlefield um, getting in there and really doing some damage and then once our strong tone is all nice and dry what we're going to do now is we're going to move on with some known oil and this is going to be uh, the last bit that we're going to be doing, like I said, to avoid uh, washing, uh, placing our wash over all our um, miniature, and we're going to we were avoiding our metal places, and that's because we're going to be doing them now with the uh, known oil. And you can see here on our Umber Berserker Captain that he has a lot more uh, metal on him, so I, I like uh, the known oil as covering over top of metals because just I just really like the the effect that it gives off it's really sort of uh, tarnished sort of battle worn uh, metal color that I really like and it really makes all that metal uh, pop which is 
the reason why I use it so much on all those different types of uh, metal pieces in my miniatures. And with all that, we have completed our Umber Berserkers from the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game. And you can see here that we have the whole lot all done. And once we have the whole lot completed, they actually look really uh, cool and effective on the table. We're just adding in those little details, like how we've gotten in with our Umber Berserker Captain. We've come in and we've added just a little bit more pieces of metal on him. And giving him those, that dry brush as well, just making him stand out that lot a lot more and by adding in our different hair colors as well across just a, I sort of did it roughly even even sort of two got this color two got that color I'm really keeping it uh, semi even but it's not too hard a thing to just uh, place on a couple of different miniatures to really make them stand out but with all of that guys um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful and if it has please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, but with that, I'll see you guys later.